Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can implement Cloudflare's turnstile into an HTML form to prevent your form from any spam without the bad user experience. It will also show you how to validate it with PHP and then send the form using either the simple PHP mail function or an SMTP mailer. I've created a website that provides an in-depth explanation as well as all source codes and relevant links. This site is linked down in the description below. Before we can start implementing Turnstile on our website, we need to get our public and private key from Cloudflare. For that, we need a Cloudflare account. I have already created one. Once you are logged in, just click on Turnstile and then on Add Site. Now, we have to name our widget and add the domain to our website. In this case, it is avarismedia.com. If you want to completely remove the capture, you can set it to invisible here. In non-interactive mode, the user does not need to do anything to solve the capture. However, it is recommended to use the managed mode. Pre-clearance can be turned on depending on your usage. For a form, it is recommended to turn this off. Now just click on create and the keys are ready. Now, we are ready to start implementing the turnstile on our website you can download the complete example code using the first link in the description. I have created a simple form without any capture, and I will demonstrate the client-side integration process here. To do so, we need to add this code snippet into the head of our website. After that, this code needs to be placed inside the form tag. It is usually placed above the submit button. The last thing still missing to finish the client-side integration is to change your public key for our recently created key from Cloudflare. Now, the client-side integration is finished. After uploading it to your domain, you should already be able to see the turnstile widget in your form. Next, we need to complete the server-side integration. I have combined the validation and sending process. To send form inputs via email, we need to create a separate PHP file called SendPHP. Ensure that the action attribute in your form matches this PHP file. I will explain two ways of sending these emails. The first one uses the simple PHP mail function, while the second one works with SMTP. SMTP has many advantages over the simple PHP mail function. For example, it is much more reliable and accepted by many email clients, whereas the simple PHP mail function mostly works reliably only with the domain's own mail. However, I will still show you the PHP mail method because it is much easier to implement. Just copy this code from my website and paste it into the send.php file. Next, we need our second key from Cloudflare, the secret key. To make it work, we need to paste it into the space of your secret key. Now you need to set the recipient email and perhaps change the subject. And don't forget that this PHP file only works with the form shown before. If you want to use a different form with different input fields, change the PHP file accordingly. If you don't know how to do that, just ask ChatGPT. And with that, the implementation is finished, the turnstile gets verified, and the email send, let's try it out. Let me just fill out a test message. Let's click on submit. And received. Perfect. If you want, you can also change the confirmation from an alert to a redirect, for example, to a confirmation page. That is it for the simple PHP mail function. Let's do the SMTP one. In order to integrate the SMTP mailer, we first need to copy the code from my website again and paste it into the send.php. As before, we have to change your secret key for our recently created secret key from Cloudflare. Now, we have to integrate a plugin called PHP Mailer into our website. For that, we have to visit this GitHub side and download the whole folder. After extracting it, it is important that we place it into our directory in the right way, so that the send.php file can find the PHP mailer files. For that, we copy everything into an folder called PHP mailer in our website's directory. With that, the PHP mailer plugin is installed successfully. 
It is time to put our SMTP data into our code. That means adding the SMTP server address, your username, which is usually your email and your email password. If you don't know how to get your SMTP data, I will link a video that explains how to get them. Maybe I will also make a tutorial for that later myself. If so, it will be linked in the description below. The sender email should be the same as your username email. Don't forget to give your sender email a name, as well as entering a recipient address. With that, the SMTP mail is installed and should work just fine. Remember that this PHP file only works with the form shown before. If you want to use a different form with different input fields, change the PHP file accordingly. If you don't know how to do that, just ask ChatGPT. And you can also change the confirmation from an alert to a redirect, for example, to a confirmation page. Let's try it out. Let me just fill out a test message. Let's click on Submit. And received. Perfect. I hope that I could help you out. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Please also leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.